Josh, speaking of Montgomery Whitewater, it's been officially open to the public for over five hours. Dozens have already taken to the rapids to try out the course. And someone else who tried it out, of course, is our own Sally <laughs> Piss, and she's joining us live with Rosanna Smith. Now, Sally, tell me, how was it? Oh man, it was so much fun. I had a blast. We did three runs. That means we took the course three times and each run is different. So you're going to get a different experience every time you take a run along the course. My goal was to go overboard. I wanted to go for a swim. It was hot out here. I wanted to get in the water. <laughs> you hear me screaming there. I, 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 I was not you screaming did. because I was scared. I say it makes it more fun. You know, you it did just well. adds to the experience. It was a whole lot of fun out there. I had a great group that we rode the rapids with. I don't want it to intimidate you. You know, it is not scary. It is an awesome experience. And those raft guides, they are trained. They are going to take care of you. I was the only one who went overboard. And again, you did it I on situated purpose. myself to increase my chances of going <laughs> overboard because that's part of the fun. Which was really me. perfect since it is hot out here, so you yes. got to dip in that cool water. Yes, but those guys, they are not only trained to take care of you on those rapids, they're trained to make sure you have a good time. They're funny too. You are going to have a great time. And this is for ages eight and up. They're actually two channels, one competition level and one the adventure channel as they called it and that's for folks who aren't as experienced <laughs> as pro athletes but it was a great time i recommend everyone needs to come out and try, to try this. it we want to go ahead and bring in dave hep now who's the ceo of whitewater montgomery um first off you know when you take a look at these courses you realize that it is a state of the art there are people coming in from all around the country all around the world even olympians absolutely yep and in fact we have a race this weekend we started this morning we got a whole team from colorado another group from uh, washington dc i think there's three kids from spain who train on the course over there, the 1992 Olympic course, I want to say. So yeah, this place is awesome. It's state-of-the-art. We're super psyched to finally get it open and get people out here and enjoying the day. I absolutely loved my time out on the water. Today? I went today, <laughs> yes, right, this good. morning, yes. I thought that video with, looked with Adam recent. and Caden, they were great, great Thank guides yep. out there. But what does it mean for something that you, you love and you're passionate about to see everyday folks come in and have a great time and everybody's smiling. What does that mean it's to you? Awesome. We are so happy to have it up and running. Like the, your two guides we taught like six weeks ago. Wow. And they're like suddenly picking it up and they're good at it and we've instilled in them, hey, you gotta be funny, you gotta be a, you know, be a good guide, which is both talking to folks and taking them down the river, you know, safety. They're not good, they're great and they're good. very good funny. Hear. Good to hear, good to hear. Yeah, no, we are so excited to get it launched and get us finally up and running and see people out here using it. It's for for the people. You know, this is awesome. And there are so many folks that may be watching at home. You all really do encourage anyone to just come out here and take yes. a look yep. and, and watch. It doesn't mean you necessarily have to, you know, yes. dive right in, but you want them to come on out. Yeah, absolutely. The way it's set up is you come out here, park, walk your dog, come walk in the morning, come ride your bike. It's a pretty big campus. So you don't necessarily have to come rafting or go in a whitewater kayak or a ducky, but come out and see the place, utilize the green space, it is a awesome facility. We have the best sunset. I mean, I'm here every day, mm -hmm. so I'm a little biased, but the sunset is awesome here. You have plans to add more attractions beyond the yes. water. So now that we kind of have the water launched, our next phase is to get our uh, ropes course, climbing wall, zip line, our, our land sports, and then hope probably by this next winter, we'll be able to get down to the woods and we're trying to build mountain biking trails and get us access to the Alabama River for like flat water kayaking and, and um, stand up paddle boarding. You have 120 acres, a lot to work with. This is fantastic. It Thank is. you so you much. It. Yes, yes, yep. we'll be Thanks back so for sure. And you heard him mention that you can just come in. You can come in with your dog, walk around. It's ten dollars to park for the weekend, so you can park for ten dollars today. That will cover you for the entire weekend, and then you could just check everything out at no charge. You can bring your chair. They do have chairs set up around the water, but you can bring your own chair as well. Great restaurant. They've got a store. You can get some gear so much to offer. It's a must visit, Monet. Well, thank you, ladies. Tonight, there will be some live music at 6 and 8 p.m. tomorrow morning. Uh, it's 8 p.m. And tomorrow morning, the facility will open for whitewater activities at 10 a.m. And on Sunday, the public whitewater activities will be open at 11 a.m.